Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Now, where we left off, I did briefly talk about this last time, but I'll just quickly give you a refresher. We're going to be declaring war on the Mamluks, then we're going to be looking to go to war with the Adalians. We're going to be looking to transport an army over to the New World, quote-unquote. Well, I suppose the New World, that's like, the New World is over here. But whatever this is, we're going to be moving things over here. I did also forget to send my colonist out to here, so I'm going to send him now. I want to see if I can take over Brunei, maybe see if I can get a trade company going over here in the Indonesian charter. Use that as a power base to maybe push into some of these other places because there's a lot of trade trade route stuff that I could do over here and in particular there's lots of like religious stuff I could do as well if I can find the religion button. There it is. Uh, you know I could spread my religion over here. I could do a lot of interesting things. Uh, that's very exciting to me. So yeah that's kind of what we're doing. And uh, I'm trying to think. Oh god, did I forget how to look up trade companies? Oh no, I forgot to look up trade companies. God damn it, I knew I would forget something. Trade companies. Trade company is a collection of provinces in trade company regions. The next time, uh, trade company may be formed by any nation in the 15 trade company regions throughout Africa. For colonial nations, not separate governments. Uh, trade company is created by adding cards to trade company. Uh, the predatory or any province of the private state is automatically removed from trade company. It's also possible to add proof given one company. I, I just must be missing the button. I, I, I think like I think I can create a trade company here. I just don't know where the button is. I think. I must be just missing the button. How do I can I like what about, what about over here? Can I create a trade company here? In this trade route? This trade node? No. I don't know how. Does anyone know where the button is? Where's the button to make a trade company? Is there like a help letter? Like, where's the help menu? God damn it. I forget how to make trade companies. It's really frustrating because I've built like part of my strategy around it. All right, whatever. God, I I wish I could remember how to do it. I know it's possible. Holy crap, we took over that province quick. Go take on that fort. You're making your way up this here. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, look, we, we spent like a couple minutes there trying to remember how to do it. But that's fine. I swear, I swear I'm doing things generally right. I'm just forgetting where the button is. No. Uh, make your way over there. Lots of cannons will blow this down nice and quick. Oh, hey. Go ahead and see if you can meet this guy. We should be ahead and we should be ahead, pretty ahead uh, in a lot of different ways in terms of... Uh... Oh, and I think we get to be the defender here if we attack on an allied land. Right? We have more discipline. We have... Oh, he's actually technologically very similar to us. We have way more cannons, though, which I'm hoping plays out in our favor. And we have an attack. Is he defending? Does he get to count as a defender? I can't remember who's on who's who. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, you guys can lose loyalty. Okay, so I think we won there. Let's go down to speed 3. Speed 4 is a little bit kind of scary at this time. Oh, recruitment time is actually pretty useless. <laughs> um, but I'll live with it. A decent amount of sailors knocking around. Although I've never really ever ran into sailor problems. I mean, I suppose if you like focus really hardcore on building a huge navy, which we will want to do at some point in this game. We'll want to just like go absolutely nuts on building a navy um, to try and control as much trade as possible. See if you can't catch these guys. Just pop them wide open. Okay, we'll take a few losses here. All right, we integrated Funge. Excellent. And where is Funge's our new army that he would have just given me is... Here. So are we over our force limit now? We are. 
let us disband three of these. This should go back into our manpower pool. And we will no longer be over our force limit. Excellent. I'll move you over to this fort. You can go move in there. You can move in there. Capturing all the good stuff. So already, we're kind of doing a lot of damage to the uh, to the Egyptians. Well, the Mamluks. I, I, they're in Egypt. They're the Egyptians. They're in Egypt. They're the Egyptians, okay? It's good enough for me. You head over there. Uh, let's see. Now, you're going to be conquering this. You're going to be conquering this. You're conquering this. I'm going to just have you drill. Oh, you need a leader to drill. Eh, what the hell. I'm super ahead of time anyway. I'm just going to have you drill. Just get that little tiny, tiny amount of yearly skill chance. Um, army professionalism is actually really good right now. For me. At this stage of the game, I'm doing really well in terms of my army professionalism. Okay, you can go there. Having half cost leaders will be really, really nice. Am I missing a fort here somehow? Oh, it's because I'm still controlled by this fort. Let's see if we can't uh, follow up with these guys. Keep pushing west. I'm going to see if I can extract wealth out of them. So, uh, let me have a look. Where are my major claims? One, two, three, four. I'll leave those for the Ottomans. The Mamluks would form a coalition. Give me all of your money. And I would like war reparations. I mean, I could take bigger bites out of them. But I don't need to take bigger bites out of them. Take little bites out of them. Make sure we're getting good value. You know. We should be able to extract this piece pretty quick. That's the piece that I want. Lots of money. Basically, I just want money in provinces. It's like a, it's, I feel like that's a fair and reasonable thing to ask for. I don't want to go over... Well, I could go overboard, but I don't want to like... I don't want to overextend myself too heavily because that can become very, very painful for your, um, for your empire. So we should start a fight here. Where is this other army here? Go get that province. Well, it would be better. This is actually closer, so go there. Okay. Nice one. So now you're going to leapfrog over and take over the front line. See, they should be pretty close to accepting my demands. Yeah, they're pretty close already. Nice fast war. It's exactly the kind of war, war that I want to be having. I actually feel safe even continuing to build while at war. I'll get... No, not that one. Oh well. It's built now. Slightly lower value proposition, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Alrighty, so you're almost basically fully occupied. You're very, very close to giving up at this point. I guess the only other thing I can do is just loot the hell out of you. Try and keep my army costs down. Are you ready for peace? No, amazingly, you're uh, you're not may you're not ready for peace. I mean, I could I I in my view, I've basically won this war. If this was happening to me, I would I would surrender right now unconditionally. Okay, want to steal his wealth if we can? It's uh, brother culture. Hey, let's push our way into the next um few provinces and stuff like that. 
The Ottomans are doing great. How are you doing, Ottomans? Oh my god, look at the Ottomans, man. The Ottomans are crazy, especially when they've got like this... They don't have a big rival down here to deal with. Because I, I helped take out the Mamluks. A little bit of leapfrogging. Oh my god, the attrition is horrific. How's the looting going? Oh, you're almost done looting there. Let's go loot. Loot this province here. Take that attrition. Let's have a look. God damn, are you really not ready for this? Let's see. I wanna I I think I'm gonna take money out of these two guys. I want their I want cash off them. Gujarat has been discovered building a spy network. Uh Mamluks in Brunei. Speaking of Brunei, hey, I would like to fabricate a claim right here in Kuching. God, I can't remember where the button is to create this trade company. Do I need like five provinces or something? I don't remember. I swear, I swear the button is on the province when you click on it. It, it should be here. No? You can't do it if it's a state. I know that much. There is a way to do this. I swear the button used to be, it used to be, like, up here. There should be a button here that says, like, create trade, it should be like a create a trade company button here. Or something. Or is it, is it in subjects? I don't know, I feel like trade companies, they ex there's something, there's something I'm forgetting about how to do trade companies. Whoa, calm down, camera. Alrighty. So it's gonna kind of like, you know, churn away here on this little bit of a war. Uh, so... We have... When does the Enlightenment become discovered? We have like 60 years to play around in this era. Cork bottle stoppers. We're so close to getting a lot of these, in particular the multicultural nation. In fact, when do we get multicultural nation? We'll get that when we can embrace. So one more diplo tech, and I can get multicultural nation. I'm thinking I might do my golden age in this era. I think I can do multicultural nation. I think I can do multiple universities and three trade companies, but I'm I'm not sure about that one. I don't know if I'll get an absolutism. But I know I can get three trade companies, multicultural national, nation, and multiple universities. And that will help me get the things that I need here. Like instead of Golden Era. Gonna slowly push our way along in here. All right, we're losing stability here. It's my favorite thing to lose. Okay, so we've built all the production things that we want to build. These ones are absolutely not worth building. But in terms of taxation... Uh, you know... There's potential here for that. Yeah, it's cheaper. We keep making those just to get our just get our income, our our relative income nice and high. I have plenty of diplo points and nothing really to spend them on, so I may go ahead here and uh, invest a little bit into infrastructure. A wall. Now where is a wall? I know it wasn't far. 
It's over here, yeah. So what if I did uh, the development edict? You've got prosperity. What if I also did the local development cost? There, nice one. So getting gems in here would be good. So I go, let's say I put one point into tax. Bang. And then what if I said I put this in here and I put two points in here. Blam, blam. How does that feel? There we go. I'll put a few points in here. That'll make this a nice province. Make it nice and big and scary. Make it produce a lot of gold. Look at that production. Mm -mm. Wait, what if I do one more? It's like month. It's like 0.2 ducats per month. That's amazing. That's a great investment, actually. Plus, we're way ahead of we're way ahead of time in terms of diplotech anyway. So I figure I should spend some of these points. See if I can't mooch in here and s Royal Family Ascend, gain Diplo power, okay. See if I can catch this army. Okay, we got him to retreat. Oh, I can't actually cross in there, that's annoying. So we're kind of just waiting for this war to end itself. I could get peace now. Uh, do I want to extract that at Tlemkin? How much money could I get out of you? Is it worth it delaying? Oh god, yes. Please flip this now. Uh, I want Influential Trader. See if we can't get up here and start sieging down these boys. Because if we can start sieging down these guys, we can start to extract... Uh, basically, I want to extract money out of these guys, if I can. And then I want to take out my piece out of the uh, Mamluks. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty watching these nations fall so quickly. This is, what, this is why you need upgraded forts, guys. So, uh, let's talk to you, Telemkin. You will give me all of the money you ever wanted. Need at least 10 war score? I'll have 10 war score. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that part. That'll happen soon, my friend. My ports are blockaded. How rude. Oh wow, there's actually a fairly sizable army over here. Uh, not that it'll matter. Too much, because we should be able to blast through a lot of these things. So let's have a look. Uh, uh, Tlemkin. Give me all of the money. Okay. Once we drop a fort, should make a difference. Although these guys have been rolling in cash for a while, maybe. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, I think once we drop a court in here, uh, the uh, once we drop a fort, it'll, uh, it'll become better. I think I'm going to detach my cannons here and move them over. So they're deoccupying some stuff, which is fine, because they got a huge stack over here. But we'll be able to break this up here soon, once we get um, some of these things. In fact, I may even breach the walls. No, we'll just let it go along naturally. They've got like a big doom stack going on over here, thinking they're going to actually make a difference, but that's fine. Um, you can go over here and get this province. Oh, ivory. Very nice. Yeah, I want to try and colonize as much of this area as I can. And then see about... Um, see about taking on uh, the Indus, the Goa, and Ceylon. Once I have, once I have Alexandria secured with um, the Gulf of Aden, primarily, Basra less concerned about, to be honest. But mainly Ethiopia, the Gulf of Aden, and Alexandria. Then I can start looking to take over. It's like the Indus, the Goa, Ceylon, uh, Malacca, all that sort of, or Ceylon, or whatever it's called. 
that's all the sort of stuff I can start to uh, look into. Lose 100 ducats or... Yeah, I'll get the negative penalty there. I'm gonna lose 100 ducats. Those are my 100 ducats. Okay, let's keep pushing for high income. Did we take over control? Nope, we just need a little bit. We just need a little bit of war score against these guys. And they should cave pretty much immediately. So we have almost enough. We just need that. We just need to get one of these forts, really. So Togurt wants peace. I would. Uh, I think I can take peace from Togurt now. So let's take peace from Togurt. Give me all of the money. War reparations. Um, what are the suggested demands? Established truce. This would give me prestige and cash. So there's Togurt out of the war. Okay. That'll make the war significantly easier. This'll make this peace actually easier to get because there'll be less uh, ally. That their their benefits from having strong allies or whatever will be lower. Basically, we'll look we'll look better. Okay, so now I should be able to extract peace from these guys. No, nope. I guess this one needs to fall too. So you head over there and you move there. I'm amazed. We have like all of your things and you're you're like, eh, you know what? Oh, they've got like a super fort here. Let's get these cannons in. Let's uh, detach these cannons as well. Move the cannons in, provide even more firepower. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can send a demand for 2,000 ducats? Hell yeah. But it actually only gave me like Eight, nine, nine of them. And now I can talk to the Mamluks. So how much could I realistically extract here? That's way too much overextension though. I'm gonna do it. Now my overextension is dangerously high. But that's okay. Oh, I can upgrade a government rank. I'll gain 25 prestige, gain a cultural union of Levantine, gain three government ranks. Oh, cultural union of Levantine. A cu cultural union of Levantine? Wait, what's Levantine? Okay, let's do it. All Levantine cultures are now accepted in our realm. Hell yeah! Oh, this this should trigger like big dips up in income, right? Big dip downs. Mm, feels bad, man. I can make states. How many states can I make? Let me have a look here. Where's where's my administration? Where are states dependent? Uh, tech? Something? I don't I'm trying to remember where some of these things are displayed. I always forget. Is it in government? States, subjects, military, religion, stability and expansion. Oh my god. I can have another five states. It's amazing.
All right. Uh, yeah. So, but this is kind of scary. Yeah, this is kind of super scary. So we're going to be dealing with some rebellions. Let's get these armies re re reconjoined. And get them running over to my territory. Cause we've got we've got we've got some war to, we've got some rebels to deal with. If I go to the unrest map mode. Yeah, there's a decent little bit of unrest here and there. We 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 can deal with that. It's mainly due to the um overextension. But let's also have a look here. Do I I, I think I want to absorb some cultures here. I'm gonna have a look at the cultural map mode. So I think I have a fairly large portion of Persian. So I'm gonna absorb those. Pretty big portion of these guys as well. I have so much cash right now. Where's my money going actually? I think it's because I have mo I have unmothballed forts. I'll deplete the garrisons. Okay, and then I want to, um... I depleted the garrisons, and then I want to do what? What is it that I want to do? Ninety-seven? In Masawa? That's one ducat per turn. Well, that's definitely worth it. Or one ducat per month. In Misawa and a wow. Yes, give me those. Okay. So we are in a precarious position because we did decide to go over 100% overextension. It will only last a year, but it is going to be a painful year. Let's have a look. Can I strengthen the legal estab establishment? Yes. Can I, out of curiosity, potentially get my absolutism up a little bit here and uh, force things in the way that I want them? I don't want to increase autonomy. I want to decrease, so I can't decrease right now. That's okay. Oh god, I should end this here. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I feel like we're getting really, really good results out of their game so far. And I'm super excited to see how it goes. So yeah, stick around. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.